Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to Minecraft How It's Done, episode 8. We are on 8, right? Yeah, we're on 8. This is an anvil. This is your anvil on dark. No, I'm just kidding. This is an anvil. With an anvil, you can do a few things. You can uh, rename an item. That's my silk touch pickaxe. I would just call it silky. If we had 37 levels. We do not, so we can't uh, rename. But, uh... We can also repair. That costs 34. I mean, it's, it's they're fairly expensive to repair, experience-wise. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got that and that. Um, I'll show you what else it can do in a second. Don't look behind me, there's stuff there. <laughs> That's coming up for the next episode. Uh, enchantment table. That's basically how it works. I mean, once you got the experience, you can uh, enchant it thusly. Let me just turn on monsters. And I'll be back in two seconds, guys. Alright, guys, so if you can hear that noise in the background, hey, let me just turn that down. Just don't pay any attention to that, because that's coming up next episode. But I've got 30 levels. So, from a sword, we can get... See, that's, that's one of the crappiest enchants you can get. Uh, that does damage to spiders, I believe. And that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me jump to the enchantment page, and I'll read you off some of the stats that you can get from it. Two seconds here, folks. You'd think with all the videos on Minecraft I've done, I, I would have a little bit more prepared than this. But no. I, I, I don't prepare for nothing. <laughs> Okay, Bane of Anthropods does extra damage to spiders, cave spiders, and silverfish. So yeah, it's... I mean, uh, you can get up to level 5 and it does 0 .05 to 2 hearts extra damage per level. Which is, yeah, that's yeah, crap. Yeah, another one in that general area, it's called Smite. It does extra damage to zombies, zombie pigmen, withers, and skeletons. It's that one's slightly better than Bane of Ant Arthropod. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and it does the same amount of damage per level, and it does go up to level 5. Sharpness. Now, that's the one I usually go for. It does extra damage to everything. Slightly less uh, maximum damage, though. It does 0 .05 to 0.1.5 extra damage per, per level, but it does everything. Like, to everybody. So, I mean, that's what I go for. Another thing you can get on your sword is knockback. It basically, like it says, you can get level 1 and 2 on it, but it just knocks, uh, knocks enemies back. Uh, another good one is fire aspect. Uh, you get two levels on that, max, and, uh, it lights things on fire. If you hit an enemy with it, it'll, it'll set them on fire, and if you hit an animal with it and kill it, it'll cook the meat for you. So, it, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. Also, if you hit TNT with it, it'll ignite the TNT, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. But the best thing for me that you can get is, uh, looting. And it got, it's got three levels. So, basically mobs have a chance to drop more loot. It's a plus one to max loot drop per level. Also increases the chance of getting a rare drop, which is pretty sweet. Um... I think I got some picks on me I can show you. Efficiency and Unbreaking, those are two pretty standard enchantments. Efficiency just makes you mine a hell of a lot faster. Unbreaking has a chance not to do damage to your pick while you're mining stuff, or chopping down trees or dirt or whatever, whatever you choose to enchant out of each tool. Uh, and then Fortune is basically the same as looting, except with, uh, like, minerals. It, uh, the looting, uh, the fortune affects diamonds, um, redstone, coal, lapis, and emeralds. I think it also affects, uh, glowstone. So that's pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna be back in two seconds, I'm gonna have an armor and- Oh wait, no, I might have good armor on. No, I don't have any good armor on, I just got my crap gear on. But I'll, I'll go through. Protection 4. Now that's, that's something you wanna get. If you got all four of these in with protection four, you're you're pretty godly, you know. 
Uh, respiration helps you, it lets you breathe underwater a lot longer. Aqua Affinity lets you mine underwater a bit better. I believe that's, that's how that works. Let me just double check that. So I don't want to give you misinformation here. Let me find the armor and chance. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Respiration, yes. Decreases the rate of air loss underwater. Increases time between damage while suffocating and drowning. Aqua Affinity increases underwater mining rate. Okay, my helmet had uh, projectile protection. Protection against projectile entities. Example, arrow gas, blaze, fireballs, only the initial impact, so uh, I, I usually don't go for it. Uh, the other one is blast protection, protection against explosions, yeah, it's pretty much just like it sounds. So if you, you're dealing with a lot of creepers, that's pretty much the enchant you want, but I, yeah, that's, I would never go for it, personally. Uh, and on some boots, you can get feather falling. Uh, it's this slight protection against uh, fall damage. Let me just, they got an, a note there, so I'm going to pop that open and take a look. Any extra information that I might be able to give to you guys. Okay. Okay, fall damage, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, doesn't really help me out much. Um, then you got fire protection. Obviously protects you against fires. Um, it doesn't make you immune to fire. You still take damage and whatnot, but it takes a, a lot longer to actually get through to you. Um, yeah. Okay, what protection does, it converts all damage from all sources except uh, falling into the void, hunger, or uh, kill command, uh, into armor damage instead of uh, like taking heart damage and whatnot. But when you get protection, you can't get fire protection or blast protection, and all the way through. Like if you have fire protection, you can't get regular protection or blast protection, etc. So, or projectile protection either. Uh, what else do I need to tell you about in, in regards to enchanting? I do need to. No, okay, I might be able to do that. Uh, let's no, maybe I won't be able to. Let me just damn you saw too much of that uh that thing over there. Mm. Yes, I know it's too expensive. But you say you say this didn't have silk touch. You could combine these two and upgrade efficiency four to efficiency five. That's basically the last thing that the the anvil does. So I think that's going to... Oh, whoa, I'm going to starve to death here, folks. Let's have some steak. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm going to end uh, end it here. I think I covered everything I really need to. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with episode 9 momentarily. <laughs>